Welcome back guys to Star Wars The Old Republic. Uh, I've had to do all the round off screen because... Simple back fact being, it is impossible to record on that planet. So what I will do is, at the time of this recording, I'm just finishing off uploading the final episodes of Coruscant. But by the time you watch this, I'll have been uploading everything else, and I'll have uploaded a special sort of compilation video of a slideshow of what I do all around, so it'll be full of comedy, miss shit, stuff like that. But it'll basically wrap up what happens on all around. But I'll just give you a audible description now, just in case you don't see that episode. Um, all it was that is that we go to our final location, we... Gearbox is there and he's doing some shit for the Empire, we... get some intel from the captured uh, fool nobleman. But we have to do a bargain where the only way he let us have the information is if we save his family, so we have to have a painstaking trip to House Full to save the family. Then we have to go get Gearbox and kill him, but unfortunately during the mission I friggin' Or kind of big way decides to stick his nose where it doesn't belong. Where it doesn't belong, constantly tries to interfere with our objective. And by the end of it, we get soap. We, what we do is we pardon the prisoner and we let him go home. But as always, the big big decides, uh, I'm more important than you, rah rah rah, and starts having to complaining. But at, by that point, Cord had had enough, and he punched and she punched him. Which pissed off General Garza for some reason, because normally she'd say do anything you must have get to get your mission done. Cordial was just following orders and trying to get her mission done. This big wig just kept sticking in his nose in the way. So, you could say Cordial was pretty flabbergasted to get, had to be shouted at for striking and for trying to, for punching the guy who was getting away of her mission. And most of her squad agreed with her. But that's it, that's all. Gearbox is dead, we're trying to, we're now preparing for our final strike on Tavis, so I think it's about time we headed off to do that because it seems no one wants to talk to us at this present time. So all that leaves us to do is to head to Coruscant. No need to get changed this time because we're just going to General Garza's office in the setup tower. So we just need to keep in our military suits for that, I guess. Oh, where was this thing before we killed Gage Box by Cordial and Drog and just kept calling him an old man? That was pretty funny. Toto, take us to the office.
Six more folks in the outer rim would have had a dedicated patrol. Just six. What's up, Gaza? Welcome, Lieutenant. Stand at ease. Make yourself comfortable. We have a great deal to discuss. Before we begin, I want to congratulate you on everything you've achieved thus far. You've completed missions and defeated enemies that few other soldiers could ever contend with. Just doing my duty. You've gone far beyond the call of duty, Lieutenant. The time has come to end this to deal with your former squad mate's treachery once and for all. We've made a critical breakthrough in the search for Tavis. A decisive opportunity has presented itself. Are you ready to end this, Lieutenant? I'm always ready. Good. We've intercepted a signal, broadcast to Taris, Narshida, Tatooine, and Alderaan. The signal contained a message from Tavis, calling for all of his surviving followers to pull out and rendezvous in Imperial space. Thought I'd wipe those traitors out. Apparently, some number of scattered survivors remain behind on the worlds you visited. I suspect the Empire is losing its patience with Tavis. Every operation the Havoc traders were involved in has now been completely obliterated. Your missions have been very costly for the Empire. I think Tavis is trying to regroup before the Imperials cut him off completely. It's nice to know I've made an impact. We're only just beginning. I want you to infiltrate Tavis's rendezvous. You'll proceed to the coordinates in the message and slip in amongst the surviving traders to board his vessel. A little infiltrate, little assassinate. Count me in. Once on board, your first objective will be disabling the ship's hyperdrive. Next comes your ultimate objective, Tavis. Locate and neutralize him with extreme prejudice, Lieutenant. I'm gonna enjoy taking that traitor down. You don't need me to tell you the kind of odds you'll be facing out there. This is no ordinary mission. This is a Havoc mission. A mission no other unit could ever accomplish. Is Havoc Squad prepared to do what no one else can, Lieutenant? Consider it done. Here, get yourself and your people the best loadouts you can. Then head for the rendezvous coordinates. I'm counting on you, Lieutenant. The Republic is counting on you. So get out there and do us proud. Dismissed. All right. Let's go. I think since this is a uh, trap, uh, uh, epilogue video for a chapter, I may as well let it run until I finish the chapter, no matter how long it takes. So if it's like an hour long video or a 45 minute long video, it doesn't matter, it's like a, it's like a closing thing. It's an accomplishment. We've been working our asses off for uh, don't know how long it was it took me 25 vid videos to get through the prologue and each planet took at least two or three videos after that so that includes try killing grave killing needles recruiting 4x Capturing fuse and killing gearbox. That took a little while. 
other gearbox as well will be condensed down to one video simply because I couldn't record the player that I took him out on so I have to make a slideshow for it which will cut down on time a bit which is a little bit sad because I wanted it's to show you hot, at least. what happened and no dust storms but also it's also gratifying because it shaved off a bit of time and made us all the more possible so I'd say we're in episode mid 30s heading towards the 40s now so yeah it's been a while it's been a long time coming Why the hell did I travel all the way here? Well, I could have just done this. You silly goose. Right, time to get changed. You should activate a experience boost as well. Let's get in there. Report your ailments. You are fit for duty. Return to your post. Good day, Lieutenant. Welcome aboard the Justice. Need to run a few questions by you before you head on into the crew area. Go right ahead, Lieutenant. Which planet were you posted on, Lieutenant? Who did you serve with? We want to make this guy believe we're trustworthy, so choose one that sounds respectable. Normally I'd go with Fuse, but at the same time, they think he'd gone soft, they think Needle is completely insane, so I think the most uh, respectable position out of the three I'd say would be with Gearbox. I was stuck bowing to noblemen on Alderaan. Gearbox was running the show. Oh, yeah? Some of the other guys were telling me Gearbox put together his own assault walker. Really advanced stuff. Is it true? I saw the thing with my own eyes, Lieutenant. I'll bet it was pretty impressive. Too bad the prototype couldn't be salvaged, huh? Wouldn't mind riding into battle on one of those babies. So what about this other rumor I keep hearing? That a single Republic soldier came in and broke up the entire operation. Is that really true? I never thought one soldier could do so much damage. Me neither. Guess we'd all better stay on our toes, huh? Hey, uh, I won't hold you up any longer, Lieutenant. Go on and head for the crew area. I bet you could use some rest after what you've been through. See you around. <laughs> Easy as pie. Cold Uncle would be proud. Well, the spy uncle. Right. Let's continue on. These guys are friendly to us right now, so we don't need to worry about fighting for a little 
for a little bit. But that won't last long. That won't last long. I assure you. If you decide to save Crystal and forget about Wraith, this would be where Wraith shows up and fights you properly. So you still get to kill her, but you kill her here instead of on the uh, instead of on Port Raga. So this is where you fight Wraith if you decide to save Crystal. Which I didn't it was put us on time. Nothing feel, feels this good, does it? Ah, another med medical station. Stand by for examination and suggested progress. Just a shell, just have a little duty, bit of shit. To your There's a cat. Take care of you. Just us. Oh, I love the fact that the Ensigns look a lot older than the Traitor's Republic soldiers. You've been in the Imperial Mercy how long? You did get murdered. You look great, shit. Every one of those. Take <laughs> that, you filthy imps.
Ooh, we got more stuff. That's better than my current gear. Back to wearing a robe. There's a trooper. Alright. Platoon! Davis, that the public come here right behind Peekaboo! Lieutenant, it seems that no matter how hard I try, I can't have any kind of gathering without you. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. You were a member of Havoc, just like the rest of us. I suppose you belong here in some twisted way. You've got nothing to do with Havoc Squad, Tavis. You're a traitor. I am Havoc Squad, Lieutenant. Carden, me, Wraith, Gearbox, Needles, and Fuse. We were Havoc Squad. You are nothing. You should be thanking me, really. I imagine that killing all my comrades, my closest friends, has been good for your career. Carden and Fuse surrendered. They're alive and well. Carden? And Fuse? Hmm. That... That's good. But that hardly makes up for the rest, Lieutenant. Nothing can absolve what you've done. In the end, I'm glad you've come. I'm glad you intercepted the signal, and glad you butchered the last of my loyal soldiers. I'm glad you're here, Lieutenant. I'm glad I get to kill you myself. You're gonna die just like the rest of your squad. Try me. It's time, Lieutenant. Let's finish this. For the Republic. Come on, then. How does it feel? Look, I... This is it, isn't it? This is all I have to show for everything I've done. Everything I tried to achieve. Got any last words, Commander? I... You... What, what have I done? They're dead. They agreed with me. They, they followed me. They died because of me. Everyone who followed you died for it. And for what? We accomplished nothing. Nothing. Yep. Don't... Don't kill me, Lieutenant. I... I can help you. I... I've learned things. Intel about the Empire. Bring me in. Take me to Garza. Let me... Let me undo some of the damage. Not after all you've done. No mercy for traitors. <laughs> it was a difficult thing for her to do that one, but 
After all she's oh, after all he's done, he's trying to kill her countless times. Cord was also convinced he was behind what happened to her on the SLS, even though she doesn't know the full story of that yet. She decided to do it. Negative on hostiles. It's all clear, General. At ease, Lieutenant. You've done a truly remarkable job. Congratulations. Aaron Tavis has been neutralized, General. Aaron Tavis did. I honestly had to come just to see it for myself. He was one of the best soldiers to ever serve under my command. It's a very great shame that he chose to end his career this way. You had no way to predict this, General. If only I could have. So much time, so many resources, just to stop a man who was supposed to be on our side. I congratulated you earlier, Lieutenant, but I think it bears repeating. You've accomplished something remarkable today. Tavis and his followers knew every aspect of our organization. They could have torn the Republic military apart piece by piece, but they never got the chance. Thanks to you. I never would have pulled it off without Sergeant Jorgen. Thanks, Lieutenant. I'm glad I got the chance to help you hunt those traitors down. We'll be staying to search the ship for intelligence while the hyperdrive is reactivated, but there's no need for you to remain as well. I'd say you've earned some leave, Lieutenant. Take some time off, then return to my office on Coruscant when you're ready to discuss a new assignment for Havoc Squad. It'll be nice to finally relax a bit. Yes, I imagine it will. Now, go out and enjoy yourself a bit, Lieutenant. And congratulations yet again on completing one of the most difficult assignments in Spec Force's history. Come on, Jorgen. Let's go get a drink. I used to know this great canteen on Ormantel. Probably a crater by now, though. Enjoy yourself, Lieutenant. Dismissed. I got a mail. That is the end of Chapter 1. Thank you for that. Thank you for joining me on this great adventure. Give Jorgen some actual armor again. Normally, I want to. I would want to end the episode here, but let's change back into our suit. I'll get rid of the gun as well. Change back into our suit. Sell some of that shit off. Also, swap Jorgen out because we're not going to use him again unless we have a companion Understood. mission. So, that's it. Ready. Tavis is done for. We've defeated him. We have finally gotten revenge for what happened in Old Mantel. And what could and also revenge for what could think is the truth violence. behind what happened on the SLS, but the real fact of the matter is Tavis wasn't the one who initiated books. that. She knows Tetto betrayed her, but she thinks she thinks at this moment in time he he was acting on orders from Tavis, but in fact Tatsu was acting on his own. But Cordial doesn't know that yet. She will think she she will figure that out eventually, but I don't I've not decided when yet. But for now, we'll let her have that peace of mind knowing that one of the people who betrayed her is, has been dealt with. So before we end this episode, why don't we see if anyone wants to have a chat with us? This video is probably going to be a long last one, but it was a it was a wrapping up everything we'd be accomplishing through the prologue and chapter one. So I think it is a longer episode. That's 
one chapter down, only two to go. I'm not going to use my ship's holo terminal just yet, I just want to check if anyone wants to talk after this achievement. Disappointingly, no. Come on. Okay. That'll be it for this episode. Next time we will... I'm not going to do uh, Return to Duty straight away, actually. Next episode we're going to do a very special event. Something very special will be happening next episode. So stay tuned. Until then.